hi and welcome back to my channel so this week you guys let me just be honest this video that I'm doing right now is not what I was going to talk about but when it came across my desk I thought wow this is so amazing that I just had to share it with you so today's coaching video I'm going to be talking about it's never too late to be who you want to be did y'all hear what I just said? It is never too late. So don't don't look at your age and think, wow, you know, when I was younger, I should have written that book or I should have gotten married or I should have stepped out on this on this business adventure. It is never too late to be who you want to be. So I'm going to share some very interesting people. Some you may know, some you may not know who did some amazing things later on in life. So let's jump right on in. So number one, at 40, y'all heard what I said? Did you hear what I said? At 40, Hank Aaron hit his 715th home run. This was not mere luck of years of playing. This was talent developed through many hours and many years of practice. He had a passion for something, and he kept at it until he became at the top of his field. Number two, at 49, Julia Child finally published her book, Mastering the French Art of Cooking. Anyone familiar with, familiar with the life and story of Julia Childs knows that she spent many years writing and rewriting, being rejected, looking for her place, and then finally... Someone saw in her what had been there all along. Although it did not come until the second half of her life, she became one of the most beloved and respected chefs of our lifetime. And on the off chance that I can catch one of her old cooking shows, I absolutely love it because I just think she was so amazing and I just loved everything about her. Number three, at age 60... George Bernard Shaw finished writing Heartbreak House. This was considered by many to be the greatest work of his career, but it took almost his entire career to come up with the right combination that resonated with people. Imagine working your whole life to finally come into your own. Number four, at age 72, Margaret Ringenberg made a flight around the globe. While she may not be a common name, it is a very uncommon accomplishment. To have wanted something for so long, to have wanted, waited so many years, and to say, I will not give up on this dream due to a simple matter of age. You guys, I'm trying to tell you, age it truly is just a number. Number five, at age 77, you heard me right, 77 years of age, John Glenn became the oldest astronaut to ever go into space. How amazing is that? When you think of the training, the physicality, the mental abilities, and the sheer drive to do something in your lifetime, it is an amazing thing to see how he was able to accomplish this. Something that many would never be able to do. Never be able to do. And let me put a pin right here, because what that made me think about was, I know I got into powerlifting a little later in my life as well, because I think I was already... 41, 42 by then. And I can't even begin to count the number of people that said, well, Michelle, how long are you going to do this? Because, you know, we're not spring chickens. We're not getting any younger. And I'm saying, okay, who cares? It's not about age. It's about doing something that I love. And, you know, I'm, I'm kind of on 50s doorstep. Not just yet. Okay, I still got a couple of years to go. But, you know, I'm closer to 50 than I am to 40. And put it that way. And, and so I have to tell people, I'm doing what I love doing. So it's not about my age. As long as I can go out there and I can still squat, and I can still deadlift, and I can still bench, I'm going to continue doing what I'm doing. And as a matter of fact, at my last competition, there was a guy there competing. And when I tell you, I was just so amazed he, I think this gentleman, he's in his 80s, that much I remember. He's in his 80s, like maybe 80, like mid-80s, I believe it was. But anyway, he had a bench of, I want to say his bench was 170-some pounds, I believe. 165, 175, or something like that. At any rate, and it might even have been 185, but at any rate... 
how many people his age, almost going on his age, well, he probably would be about 80 some, at least 80 now, not close to, you know, like maybe a year off. But how many people do you know in their 80s can still get out there and compete? Now, he didn't squat, he didn't deadlift, but he could still bench. So what I'm saying to you guys is don't let, because people will do this. They will try to tell you, oh, you're too old to do this. It's too late in life to do that. The devil is a lie. No, it's not. You're not too old to do anything that you want to do, okay? And I'm still getting out there. Now, if you've been following me for a while, I did, I was in a car accident, uh, you before last, I believe it was. And so I've been having some issues with my piriformis which is pain that I get like right down, usually the top part of my right glute, sometimes right down the middle of it. But I've been pushing through. My numbers are back. The last time I did an overload on my squat, I got 275 and it was beautiful. Beautiful. And so I'm slowly but surely reworking on form on my squat, getting my deadlift numbers up. So my coach actually has me, and I know I digress, but I got to tell you all this. My coach actually on my deadlift has me doing five sets of 10, which is so hard. So each week I started with 135. So each week I'm going to go up five pounds so that when I get back to, let's say 260, 70, 280, 290, I can get that num those numbers for at least five to eight reps. Okay. If not 10, cause we're going for 10. But five to eight, I'll take that too. So it's just a process because I am getting back in 2018. Yes, you heard it. I am getting back out there and I'm going to continue competing because I do have Maryland State records, you guys, in two different, with two different federations and, yeah, two different federations, but I am so excited and I'm, I plan on breaking the records that I've set a couple of years ago, setting new records. But I said all that to say that at 77... For somebody to get that, get out there and go into space, honey, don't, don't, don't let anybody tell you you can't do anything. Number six, at age 86, Catherine Pelton swam the 200-meter butterfly. You guys, did you hear what I just said? 86 years old, she swam the 200-meter butterfly in one minute and 14 seconds. She is living proof that we can accomplish great things with practice and perseverance. Number seven, at age 92... Paul Spangler finished his 14th marathon. One is an accomplish one is an accomplishment. 14 is a great feat for most people. You guys 92 years old and this man has done 14 completed 14 marathons. I, that's just amazing. Mm. But for a 92 year old man to be out there keeping up with the most elite and the training it took to be able to do that, what is our excuse for not getting up and working out in the morning? Oh, I'm going to say getting up and working out, period. It takes a little steam out of all the uh, excuses, the snoozes, and the tomorrows. Because y'all know how we are. I'm not going to gym today. I'll go tomorrow. Stop putting things off. Get out there and do it. This man at 92 years old can finish. Not And, and notice I didn't say he just started. He finished. He completed 14 marathons. Good Lord, I can't even get out there and do one because, you know, a little ways down the road, I'm huffing and puffing. That's just not my thing. But to be 92, you guys, that is amazing. Number eight, Dorothy Davenhill Hirsch became the oldest person to go to the North Pole aboard a Russian nuclear icebreaker, something many of us will never achieve in our lifetimes. She made it happen. This is not to say we cannot make these things happen for ourselves. It is just that we choose not to. Now, maybe you're not interested in going to the North Pole. I certainly am not. Somebody may be. But I love what it says that it's not that you can't do it. You just choose not to. Number nine, Dr. Leah, Leela Denmark worked as a pediatrician until her chosen retirement. Get this, you guys. Mm. This is what floored me. Dr. Leela retired at the age of 103. Talk about loving what you do. Mm. A, perfect, a perfect example of when you love what you do, it's not a chore, it's a joy. One that you want to do as long as you're able. And I think we all hope to find a calling like this. Just like I said a few minutes ago, I love powerlifting. I love training with heavy, heavy weights. And I'm going to do it as long as I can do it. Okay, my coach, his dad is in his 70s. This man can still bench 500 pounds. I think a little bit more than that, but he can still bench uh, 500 pounds. 
I have, I, my teammate is younger than I am. And guess what? He's not benching 500 pounds yet. So this is absolutely amazing. And I've seen his father deadlift, I think it was 525. Amazing. Again, there are a lot of, of younger people that can't deadlift 525. So it's not about the age. It's not about the age at all. If you want to can do something great, you can do it. And number 10, talk about a lifelong goal realized. Bertha Wood, born in 1905, dreamed her whole life of writing and publishing a book. This dream was finally realized in 2005 and was based on her memoirs. I'm sure she had a great deal to talk about in her 90 years of living. You guys, how amazing is that to write and publish your, your first book at the age of 90? So the common thread of all of these individuals is persistence. That is your takeaway from today's video is persistent. You've got to be persistent or, or as, as Les Brown says, that you've got to be relentless. When you want to do something, when you, you, when you have it in your mind that you're going to do this thing no matter what, you have got to be persistent persistent. I am persistent in that when I finish my federal government career, because I told you guys a few weeks ago, October the 3rd of this year will officially make 30 years of federal government service. I say I have 30 years now, but the official date is October the 3rd. And so I am persistent in doing what I do because I'm hoping, God willing, the creek don't rise in the next three years, I'm going to be offered a buyout and I can say, guess what? I can take it because I was persistent in doing the other other things so now I can retire from my good government job and move on to do something else so it's all about persistence and believing in themselves so all these people I talked about they were persistent and they believed in themselves even if nobody else believed in them because I promise you along the way somebody didn't believe in them but they believed in themselves and not putting time limits age limits or any type of constraint on themselves they simply decided they had a goal they were going to accomplish and they kept trying until they did it let me let me go back and read that sentence again they simply decided they had a goal that that they were going to accomplish and they kept trying until they did it so whatever it is that you've decided that you're going to accomplish it may not have worked out in 2017, but guess what? This is 2018. Don't give up. Keep trying to do that thing. And if it doesn't manifest itself in 2018, guess what? In 2019, you keep trying, but do not give up. They simply decided they had a goal they were going to accomplish, and they kept trying until they did. It shows that it's never too late to do what you want to do and be who you want to be. And that is the takeaway from today, that it is never too late to decide you want to, to decide what you want to do and be who you want to be. So I don't know who this message is for, but I'm pretty sure it's for somebody because, like I said, this really was not what I wanted to talk about today. But it came across my desk and I thought, oh, wow, how fitting, because somebody out there needs to know that you can do whatever it is that you have put it on your mind to do. And like I said, that's one thing that bothers me to the core of my being when I hear people tell someone they can't do something because of their age you know what i mean oh you know that, that that's for young people no honey whatever it is it's for whoever wants to do it and your age has nothing to do with it perseverance 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 you stay committed and you will accomplish the thing that you want to do now let me let me look at it from another angle sometimes sometimes god will speak to us and say, you know what, I know you really want to do this, but maybe that's not what I, I want you to do right now. Or, or maybe that's not the thing that I would have you to do. In that case, yes, you listen to that voice and you may, you know, change directions. But other than that, you be persistent with what it is that you want to do. And don't you ever let anybody tell you that you can't accomplish something. And you tell them that I said that you will do it and you can do it. And they need to go have several seats. So that is all I have for you guys. I truly love you to the moon and back. And um, before I forget, 
as my way of saying thank you, please be sure to go to my website, michelleismakingithappen.com. That's Michelle with two L's. And click on the thank you tab and be sure to get your travel certificates, you guys. You have to do that because I want you to, to travel and have a great summer. If not this year, the next year. I have two offers that I'm giving you. You can take one or you can take both. does not matter to me. You will need to do two separate emails, though, um, especially if you want to get more than one certificate, one of the same certificate. But um, it's a Las Vegas hotel stay one between one and four nights. Choice is yours. Or the other certificate is hotel and air for two. There is a fee to activate both certificates. Um, I want to say the Las Vegas is like $50, I believe, to, and I could be wrong, but I think it is, to activate the certificate, but you have a whole year before you have to use it. Now, the air and hotel certificate, I believe that's $199 for each person. You guys, $199 for airfare and a hotel stay for two people, you can't beat that at all. So please be sure to go to my website, get your certificate, because it is my way of saying thank you so much. Thank you to those of you that are new to my channel. Love, love, love you guys. Welcome, welcome. Thank you so much to those of you that continue to support me in all that I do. Again, I love you guys to the moon and back. And I want you to go out there and be the best that you can be. I want you to go back and look at those dreams that you had that you put on the back burner because somebody told you you couldn't do it. Somebody told you you would never be great at doing that. Somebody told you that's not for you. Go back and pick those dreams up and make them happen. Until next week, take care. Love you guys. Bye.